KD, there is no question that Draymond Green isn't the reason KD left Golden State. KD clearly had his eyes on bigger ventures because he came to do what he did. He won back-to-back -back championships, and I think after he won the second championship, he pretty much knew that he was going to leave after that third and final year. That's number one. Number two, let's give KD credit where credit is due. After the incident occurred, days upon days it passed, and they asked KD, the media, have y'all gotten past this? KD said no. No, not at all. He was very, very clear about that, to the point where even Draymond later spoke on it and felt compelled to acknowledge. When I saw how hurt he was, I was like, damn, I didn't realize I hurt him like that. And so he felt compelled to ultimately address it at some point in time. My point is, they both know that they had addressed their issues with one another. But more importantly, they had acknowledged that even after days and weeks had passed, they still hadn't gotten past it. And they had been open about the fact that they had, had not gotten past it. Once they finally sat down with one another a few weeks ago and taped this podcast, it makes total perfect sense to me how they could bring other people into the equation because they're saying it's a given that we had we ultimately had our issues and we didn't help ourselves with that incident that Draymond Green was clearly wrong about because you don't come at your teammate publicly like that the fact that it was on the bench and you came there and you had to be restrained and calmed down by DeMarcus Cousins I mean that I mean you, I mean you know you know you know you know that's not that's not DeMarcus Cousins the cool headed right, that, one in that, that situation that, you, you think so yeah. what I'm saying is that's what happened so yeah. the point is, they already dealt with each other. What they was doing I, was providing a macro perspective about what transpired that particular night and how they went and walked away feeling about everybody I else. Because it's a foregone conclusion. You're making. Uh, it's a foregone conclusion how they felt about each other in the moment. I appreciate the point you're making. And the bottom line for me is Draymond asked him point blank, was it the incident? And KD's first response to that, it's not so much the incident as the way Towson. it was handled, right? That is, to me, and as I said, this is one of the best interviews you will ever see. My hat's off to Draymond and KD. And KD, by the way, is a superstar in a different way now. Not only do many people believe he's the best player in the game, he's one of the most interesting athletes in the world mm -hmm. to hear talk. He's, he's a really interesting guy. So um, I understand that you're saying it's a more macro perspective, but if you're asked point blank, is that why you left? And you say it was more the way it was handled. That is no matter how you slicing it, how you slice it, taking the onus off the two people in the room talking and putting it on two dudes who aren't there. It's KD's decision in that's the not, end to leave. But that's not how he felt. See, you can't applaud KD in one respect and then imply that he's saying something that he didn't say. What I mean by that is this. He feels the way he feels. If he's sitting there and he's telling you, to, you know, for the camera with the cameras rolling, the way that it was handled, from an organizational perspective, it turned me off. Let me tell you something. That's real. Because there's a lot of people that'll look at a situation and say, the way that this was handled made it worse. Like, for example, you're going to just try to gloss over it by suspending Draymond Green. Do you know how many players around the league were highly offended? that the Warriors as an organization suspended Draymond Green. You know why they were offended, Max? Because two players, two teammates, going at each other the way that they did, how is that anybody else's business once the game is over? Y'all handle that. Or you, well, or you make sure... The organization sure thought you they get, were on KD's you, side you, you there. They thought that, they were placating KD. Well, that's what I'm saying. They were placating KD. And that's where a lot of people lost respect. For the Warriors organization, fair or not, that was the thinking amongst players. I know that the players I spoke to, many players that I spoke to, they said that they had a problem with the fact that the organization didn't leave it to them to handle it. Why is that matter? Why does that matter? Because it's consistent with what Draymond was expressing. Draymond was like, y'all going to F this up. Meaning that, Joe, this really, at the end of the day, is for me and KD to handle. I may have been it. wrong. I may have been wrong, but I had my reasons so for reacting would have taken the way from that I KD, did. All it would have taken from KD, if that's the fact, and this is where I thought, thought it was the one note, I, I don't even say a false note, a note I didn't like. All it would take from KD in that case is just go to Bob Myers or whoever and say, hold, hold on, don't do that. 
to Dre, he and I need to work this out. Because clearly they were doing it 4K. You don't know that he didn't do that. Well, he just that's told the you case, how he but felt. that has not been reported. I'm just saying, he just told you how he felt in the immediate moment, in the immediate aftermath of how things transpired because of the way things were handled. You know, I know forfeit. Listen, I was in Toronto. You were there when, when KD went down finally, you know, because, you know, in the finals. But who was walking out with him? It was Bob Myers. Who went to the hospital? It was Bob Myers. Who was crying at a press conference? It was Bob Myers. He clearly cares about the dude, had a lot of love and respect for KD. Who does it? If you know him, you're going to respect the hell out of him, first of all. Yeah. And, he's not, and, he, and he ain't hard to love either. He's a good dude. Just because he speaks his mind doesn't mean yeah. that KD is not a dude. He's mm -hmm. a great dude. But in the end, we under, what he's talking about is the incident itself. And from an organizational perspective, how it was a turnoff for him as to how to handle it. He never said that he didn't address them eventually. He just told you how he felt. Didn't say he did either. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.